Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into a tool that I've personally used for years to manage my hard drives and SSDs, recover data, and easily partition drives, Minitool Partition Wizard. This video is actually sponsored by Minitool, the awesome folks behind this software, so a huge thanks to them for supporting this channel. Make sure to check out their channel and all the links down in the description below. Now, if you ever felt limited by your Windows operating system's ability to partition drives or wanted more features and granular control, Partition Wizard is your new best friend. We're talking creating, deleting, resizing partitions. It can even help you recover files that you thought were lost forever. So stick around because I'm going to walk you through some of the most useful features and show you just how easy this software is to use. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to partitionwizard.com uh, and then we're going to go up to home and then select the Petition Wizard free. Because we're going to start off by showing you some of the features on the free version and then I'm also going to dive into some of the features in the pro version. So if we download that file now and then launch the program to install, there we go. And also we can get a real quick comparison of some of the features. So the free edition obviously provides all the basic disk partition management features, but the pro edition has a lot more in it. As you can see, we've got migrate operating systems, copy the operating system, disk and partitions, convert MBR to GPD, which is really useful, change cluster size, recover lost partitions, perform data recovery, and used in a commercial environment as well, which is really, really cool. What we're gonna do though is continue in installing the free version for now, just to show you some of those features, and then I'll dive into the professional features after. So you could pick here exactly what you want to install, and if you want to participate in the customer experience improvement program, and then it'll start downloading and installing those files for you. Once that's done, we can then just click finish with the checkbox selected and launch the mini petition wizard. The first thing it'll do is it'll point you straight to their website so you can see all the amazing packages that they offer. But we're going to concentrate just on the mini petition wizard for now. And there we go. So this is the free version of the mini petition wizard, but on version 12.8 at the time of this video. Uh, and as promised, you can obviously look at all of the options available in the program. We're gonna hook up a hard drive to this now, and I'm gonna show you some cool techniques that you can use from this program to petition your drives. So I've just plugged in my uh, portable SSD from SanDisk. And just like that, it's updating the petition information and you can now see disk two has my 128 gigabyte partition. I'm just gonna resize the bottom here just so we can see all the disks much easier. Uh, and what we're gonna wanna do at this point is we wanna wipe this entire drive. So we're just gonna literally click, right click, delete all petitions, confirm that you want to do this. Yes, we do. Tells you obviously that you need to apply on the bottom left here. But while we're here, we're also gonna do a wipe petition option. Now by doing this, we can actually make sure that the device is cleanly wiped. So if you're selling your hard drives or if you're uh, just getting rid of them, you're not using them anymore, maybe you're recycling them, maybe you've got a lot of personal data on here that you don't want access by anyone. Well, Minitool Petition Wizard actually gives you this option 100% free, which is fantastic because there are so many tools out there that do charge for this. And we're gonna go with a very slow three passes, but it is highly secured because it means that it's gonna be incredibly difficult to recover the data off this. This is gonna wipe everything off this drive. So as soon as we click OK, we're gonna click Apply, and you can see here what operations we're gonna have actually happen on this drive. The first is gonna delete all the petitions on the drive, and then second, it's gonna wipe them in the manner that I specified. So we're gonna click apply. Do you really wanna do this? Yes, I do. And there we go. So the formatting of the drive uh, has already taken place. It's got rid of all those partitions. And now it's gonna go through that really, really long, tedious process of wiping every single bit for bit point on the drive. Once it's done that and it's completed, you now have a complete blank slate to do anything you want with. And at this point, we just wanna create another partition on here to start all over again. And we can literally have a lot of options available in here. You can label the petition. You can choose to create this as a primary or secondary. Choose the file system that you want. Maybe this is going to go on a Linux system. So you might want to go for the XT4. Maybe you want to specify a drive letter or the cluster size. And then maybe you even want to change back and forth how much space is actually used on this drive. 
because you don't actually have to use the entire drive's partitions here. Maybe you want to create some smaller ones so that you could have multiple drives shown in Windows, because obviously, if you wanted to, we could create this 20 gig one. And then we could create another size partition to either use up all the space or continue doing that. In my case, I just want to create a completely blank partition. We're going to go with the NTFS. We're going to leave the partition label blank and we're just going to create that. Now, obviously, you've got a lot of different things going on in here. We don't need them. So we can literally hit the undo button there and start from the beginning. So it doesn't unnecessarily use all that drive writes and reads. So again, we're just going to go for the NTFS. And yes, we want to proceed. And straight away, just like that, Mini Tool Petition Wizard has petitioned that drive. On top of that, we also have data recovery. Again, this is a pro feature, so if you want to use this, you will need to subscribe for the pro account. Highly recommended, well worth it, I have myself. Soon as you're in here, you can see all the drives on your computer that are connected, and then you can begin to initiate that. Now, if we look on our 128 gigabyte SSD, we just wiped that. Now, bearing in mind, if you didn't do the three pass uh, scan, it would be pretty easy to recover files and folders. But obviously we did do that whole scan. Now I've actually swapped this over to a drive that I hadn't done a three pass scan on just to show you how the scan feature works. And essentially it's like this, you just click the scan button and then you wait and it starts to find these files. Now again, I have switched over the other drive. The other one wouldn't find anything at all. This is obviously finding it because I haven't actually wiped this particular drive. And you can start seeing. So if you've accidentally deleted or formatted maybe over your coursework, maybe over your YouTube videos, if you're a creator like myself and you're thinking, oh, my God, I need those files back. You can use this tool to easily recover those files and you just let this run till 100 percent. And then you can kind of pick through all the petitions, all the deleted files, even go through uh, the Windows Recycle bin there, as you can see. Even in the lost files, it finds individual petition information uh, and existing volume information. And it'll get all the files that you've got. So it's really cool. We're also going to check out the petition recovery now. So in petition recovery, this is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to recover whole petitions of disks. Now, obviously, on disk two, we, we've wiped that as well. But maybe we want to recover all the things that were on there petition-wise instead of just file-wise. So we can actually just specify a certain range or scan the entire disk, which I'm going to do for you now. It's always recommended to do a full scan because you'll definitely get better results. And by doing this, this will now scan for all the lost petitions, assuming you haven't used that three pass wipe because that will really do what it says on the tin and not allow you to get these things back. But if you haven't done a three pass wipe on a drive or maybe you're recovering for a friend or maybe one of your hard drives, you can actually just pop one of those into the computer and then scan the entire drive to get those petitions back as well. Another cool feature is the disk benchmark tool, because this actually shows you all the different cool things about your drive and its speeds. And you can actually select in here all sorts of different tools. So after we've uh, picked a specified size and all the other settings that you want on here, we're going to hit the start button and obviously selected the right drive. And this is going to test the disk, test its speeds, make sure that it's got good fast speeds. And this will give you all the information that you need to determine whether your drive is at its peak efficiency. And then just like that, after a few minutes of testing, it'll give you all the outputs of the drive speeds and how fast they are. Bearing in mind, I'm connecting this SSD over a USB. And obviously the USB spec is not that fast, but it's good to know exactly what we're dealing with here, which means I can use another port or actually put it in via SATA and probably get the drive's full speeds. So that's the disk benchmark tool. The next tool we're going to check out is the Space Analyzer. The Space Analyzer checks all your drive space areas to see exactly how much of the drive you're using uh, and, and things like that. So if we do a scan, it'll tell me all the files on the drive, how much space they're taking up and what free space we have available. And then it'll even give me a size tree so I can work out exactly what files are taking what. For example, my users file is actually taking 182 gigs so that folder obviously is pretty big we can go into that find out exactly where that space is coming from and it turns out that my downloads folder is actually taking up the most and there's a lot of different tools in there that's obviously taking that up now if you really do want to uh, get this up and running and you want it to be um, 
bit more feature centric, then I would recommend um, popping in a license after you purchase one. Now, obviously, this video is sponsored by uh, Mini Tools. They kindly provided me uh, a license to use. Uh, so I'm going to pop that in now. And then after you put your license in and click register, it'll thank you for your registration. And all of a sudden, we're now using the Mini Petition Wizard Pro Ultimate. And that gives us access to all of these other different areas that we normally wouldn't have access to, including mic uh, migrating the operating system to other drives. It'll also be cool to create some bootable media because we can then use that to boot up the computer no matter what operating system you're dealing with and then use uh, this mini petition wizard on all your drives, even in a live environment. So I hope I've given you a great overview of the program today and I'm hoping you'll find all these extra features really useful and I hope you do check out the program. There's a download uh, link in the description below and please also check out the mini tool channel because they've got some really cool videos over there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.